Congratulations on this movie. You also produce, not only act. What makes you decide to produce a film? It's somewhat of a, an organic decision-making process. I don't think there's any rules in place that, you know, everybody at Denver and Delilah are like, well, this means... I think we just look at every project. I mean, a lot of stuff we develop from kind of, you know, the first idea, the kernel of what we kind of want to make a, a film about. So those are obvious things that you start when, you know, they're in infancy. And then there are other things like this that kind of show up that just, you know, Jason and I have a relationship. We produce together the first one and just kind of, that's kind of how that just feels. I think, I think once you kind of like put too many boundaries on it, it becomes a little bit not so organic. And so I just always kind of look at every project individually. You capture the experience of a mother in a way that I've never seen on film before. And of course, you are a mum. So talk about things that you identified with this character and things that are different. I definitely identified with the general things like exhaustion and kids kicking your seat and just, you know, having those moments as a parent that you don't, you hope nobody ever knows you had those moments as a parent, like walking around your car and just screaming, fuck. <laughs> um, and I guess just, a little bit of that struggle of like, is this right? Am, am I still me? Am, is it like, am I losing myself or, you know, is this the right balance for them? And, and I think all of those questions, I think, I think overall for me, it just read as this kind of beautiful home to motherhood, no matter what your circumstances are. It might not be exactly like Marlowe's, but overall it's just really an homage, a, a, a thank you to moms. So how do you keep Charlize intact and how as a mum has your fashion sense changed and your life changed? Yeah, it definitely changes and anybody who tells you it doesn't, they're fucking lying. <laughs> um, I hate those people who are just like, and I'm like, no, it takes seven people to do that, first of all, and you can't do that every morning. Um, I mean, I think... How did my fashion sense change? It just becomes easier. Like you just, you want it to be, everything else takes up so much time that you just have to start eliminating other things. Like I used to wash my face in the morning and now I don't, you know? I'm lucky if I get a slab of sunblock on. But those you have, I mean, it just makes your life easier and it makes it better. So I'd rather eliminate those things and get to the bus on time and have a peaceful day than to worry about whether, you know, I'm wearing, current you know couture and finally um what is your escape that you like to do with your children and without well we're so lucky we get to travel a lot you know and i and i love if they're not in school to to take them with me and they love it they're like little professional flyers that sound so gross but they really are now they just like know the whole and they're so good on the plane maybe because they've been doing it for so long but i do love traveling with my family and i'm so lucky that my mom loves to come with me so if we make a movie out of the country for a long time I definitely take them with me and she comes and it's like a family affair and it's nice because when we're here in LA we all kind of like live our lives and then for three months you get kind of like you're all in a house together and the kids love it and I, I I'm so lucky that I get to get both the best of both worlds well thank you you're certainly an icon for mothers and for women out there oh, thank, thank you. you thanks thank you thanks.